Here's what we know about COVID, okay? It originated in a city of Wuhan where the Wuhan Institute of Virology, which has a questionable safety record and conducts experiments on making viruses that are not infectious in humans infectious in humans, they do it for the purpose of then developing a vaccine. They're located in that city. The Chinese CDC is also located in the city. Number two, unlike, for example, SARS, to this moment, unless it happened in the last hour, the Chinese have not been able to say, here's the bat, here's the pangolin, here's the animal that the virus came from. Number three, there is evidence, both in open source and, and I mean, it's been widely discussed that the Chinese at a minimum have not been, to say the least, open about any of this. And in fact, real clear indications that they've done everything possible to obstruct any sort of international inquiry into how this began or to be sharing this information. Um, this is a lot of circumstantial evidence uh, that adds together. And, um, and, and I believe that's why the FBI has concluded what on the origins of COVID? Director Ray. Uh, so Mr. Vice Chairman, uh, as the committee knows, the FBI has long assessed, going all the way back to the summer of, of 2021, that the origin of the pandemic was likely a lab incident in Wuhan. So, uh, Director Haynes, I know that, that there's a difference of opinion among the different agencies. I think Energy and FBI have that assessment. Are we unable to, uh, what is preventing the other agencies from reaching the same assessment? Is it basically the lack of a smoking gun? Are, are, are we, will we not be able to say that we believe that the lab origin is the likeliest outcome unless somehow we can provide a smoking gun proof that that's what happened? Thank you, sir. I, so you're right. There's Basically, there's a broad consensus in the intelligence community that the outbreak is not the result of a bioweapon or genetic engineering. What there isn't a consensus on is whether or not it's a lab leak, essentially as uh, Director Ray indicated, or natural exposure to an infected animal. Those are the two uh, operating sort of theories. And, uh, and what would change you know, essentially elements perspectives, I think be additional information, and we've been trying to collect additional information. And I think you're absolutely right that uh, China has not fully cooperated, and we do think that's a key critical gap that would help us to understand what exactly happened. Right, my time is up. Mr. Chairman, I would just point out that the it is true that the lab leak, we don't have a smoking gun. Like we don't have some guy calling another guy saying, hey, we had a lab leak. We also don't have a smoking gun that it was a naturally occurring event, which is the easiest one for them to prove. You know, come out, have a press conference, show us the bat or the pangolin, whatever a pangolin is, and show us uh, that this is the one and here's the virus that came from that animal. Because it would have not just been found in one animal, it would have been pretty widespread. That's the easiest thing for the Chinese to have done, and they haven't done it. I think that's a pretty strong reason to suspect that it's not naturally occurring, because they've done it with the other pandemics. Thank you.